Hey guys, this is Ben with Ben's Campers, and today I responded to a marketplace listing for a free camper. Now, if you watch my channel, you see I get free campers uh, pretty much on the regular. Uh, but the reason I jumped on this one is the size of it. Uh, it's nice and small, just like I like. It's also a dual axle. Uh, as usual, uh, she says they do not have a title. But if you look on the um, Google Street View, uh, the picture of the trailer is still here 10 years ago, was here 10 years ago, and it had a tight or it had a plate on it. So I have to follow up with them on that. Uh, just looking it over at a glance, tires are dry rotted, but all four of them seem to have air about 20 minutes from my house or from my shop rather. So I don't have too much risk involved in pulling this one. Uh, home. There's some stuff on the roof we're going to get off of there so it doesn't go flying off. So I have not been inside. So let's go inside. I did notice that the doorknob's tied shut there. Get out the old pocket knife. Let's go inside. Look at that old retro floor. Huh. Got some water damage there. This thing isn't half that bad. <laughs> I've got worse ones in the shop getting more work to them. Looks like everything's here. Nothing's been hacked up or painted or removed, so I like to see that. Looks like this thing was in pretty fair shape before it was left to sit here and kind of waste away. Got the dinette. And got the kitchen area. Fridge. And the rest of the ceiling, like that vent, looks nice. You know, just this panel here, this one got bad. If you guys watch my videos, you know I can fix that stuff pretty quickly. Um, overhead bunk bed, and then it's got a front couch. The upholstery is obviously seen better days. Yeah, even a free battery, wow. March of 2012. Let's see the bathroom. Okay, it's got a tub, a toilet, and a sink. Some more retro pattern. Looks like it had a soft, yeah, some soft floor problems and they covered it. But, all right, well, let's uh, let's talk to the owners here and um, get this thing hooked up and get it on the road. Okay, folks, we're all hitched up and went on real easy. And we're going to pull it out of this little spot. Uh, I'd say it's been here for least 10 years like I said that street view image was 10 years old and it looked pretty fresh while it was sitting here so somebody did love and care about this and um, it's very nice of the owners there to offer it for free you know these things just became a nuisance to them sitting here and they want it gone so let's go ahead and let's pull it out Give it a tug. Do the heavy mugger. Ooh. Broke loose a little bit. Pull it onto the asphalt. And then we'll check everything over here. Okay, so we're pulled onto the asphalt. Let's see what we're dealing with. Some strings tied to, looks like it had a tarp on it. I like this little camper. I like the profile of these little things. Looks like they have a Wrangler here if anybody wants that. It's been there for a long time. Looks like it's pretty rusty. Tires have air. Okay, well, I got about a 20 mile trip, so I'm gonna take the time to prep this thing up here safely and uh, get going. 
Okay, folks, we are towing the free marketplace trailer and just leaving the neighborhood here. And uh, it's a heavy little bugger back there. Actually, somebody wired it for lights and they're working. Uh, they put their own little marker lights on it and they're working. You probably can't see that, but <clears throat> which is pretty amazing considering. You know, I pick up new trailers or close to new trailers and the lights don't work. So, pretty cool to see things working like that on this thing. And uh, it's pretty heavy. You can feel, although it's not a big trailer, that it's got some weight to it. So, uh, it's got a few rocks on the roof. Rocks. Yeah. So, it had a tarp on it and they had, like, boards and rocks to try to weigh the tarp down. So, I... Um, removed everything I could, but I can't really climb up on the roof. I didn't really have a ladder there. And uh, so it's got like three or four of the big rocks still sitting on it. So I'm just going to drive real easy with it. Obviously, I don't want a rock flying off there and hitting somebody's car. So I'm just going to take it easy. And uh, we got about a uh, 20 minute ride to the shop. Okay, folks, so we're cruising down the highway with the free camper. Uh, we're going 48 miles an hour, which is about as fast as I'm willing to go with this thing. I uh, didn't really want to get on the highway, but I <clears throat> was just blindly following the, the GPS, and uh, I'm down here in an area where I don't really know the back the back ways on my own. So uh, it's, it's a short hop, um, and it's not a busy highway. Uh, so, as far as if you are a person who, you know, sees a free camper and wants to go pick it up, this is definitely the most crucial part, is just towing it for that first time. Uh, you just take it easy, and, you know, I, I stopped on the on-ramp before I got on the highway and uh, made sure, you know, bearings aren't getting hot and uh, tires are good, nothing's loose, hitch is, hitch is solid, everything's chained up, double and triple check everything. And then just go slow. <clears throat> I'm going 51 miles an hour right now, and that's about it. So uh, keep on keeping on here. Be back at the shop very soon. All right, folks. Uh, we're taking a better look at the free marketplace trailer today. Uh, so it's a 1979 um, Terry Taurus. I uh, found some documentation inside and uh, we cleaned the trailer up yesterday and today we gave it a bath with a pressure washer and uh, plugged all the utilities in to see what works and what doesn't and uh, surprisingly a decent bit of the equipment does work and this trailer is not all that bad uh, it does need some work it, it's got that roof problem uh, I'm not going to say it doesn't, it's just, uh, you know, for the price of maybe $20 worth of gas and a few hours of cleaning and work, uh, it's pretty solid. So, let's check it out. So, one of the cool things is this uh, retro floor. Got some uh, dirt on it uh, for me walking around, but... I did uh, clean the trailer up and wipe everything down a little bit. You know, it didn't do a super thorough job, but enough to make it presentable. And the worst of the water damage right there, that ceiling, uh, definitely going to need some roof work. Kitchen area. So we do have a few plumbing leaks. Uh, we'll start with the good. So the propane's working. Stove's working. The furnace lights... Uh, the pilot lights, but it won't fire, so usually that's the sign of a bad thermocouple, which is a pretty simple fix. Um, the plumbing does work. Uh, there's a leak. The hot water tank is bad. It's leaking, split open. Uh, it actually lights, but the tank itself must have froze and split. And the uh, refrigerator works great, which is really surprising, because usually those do not work. Uh, the 12 volt system does work. Uh, I'm, there was no battery on this, but I put a shot battery on it. So all the 12 volt lights do work. 
So that means the inverter is working. Uh, well, theoretically. Uh, the upholstery is pretty bad. Well, it's like non-existent. Back there, that couch is like broken down and sagging and, you know. It just needs a general rebuild. Uh, there's some floor work that needs to be done for sure. Uh, let's go in the bathroom. Got a lot of closets there. So the bathroom, the floor is bad. They put a piece of wood over it, but it does have a nice tub, a toilet, and a sink. And the toilet, um, the one of the fittings going into the toilet is leaking water. I don't think the toilet itself is bad. I think it's just a fitting. So a couple little plumbing gremlins to work out with this one. And look at that, the ceiling's actually in nice shape. Same with here. A little bit of water staining, but um, pretty fair shape. So yeah, uh, I cleaned this one up here. I'm going to put it for sale for a really low price. Um, if you want to argue with me about that in the comments, you can, but this is what I do for a living. So uh, appreciate you guys watching. Please like and subscribe if you like this content. And we got plenty more trailers to show you here. I'm going to do a couple more videos today, hopefully. Uh, with an update, a big update on that um, 77 uh, Layton, which is just two years older than this. So let's check that out. So God bless.